All right. Uh, hi, Bella. How are you today? Hi, I'm good. How about you? I'm great. Thank you. Um, can you tell us a little bit about yourself, where you're from, and what university you're studying at? Okay, so hi, I'm Bella, and I'm from Indonesia. I'm actually 18 this year, and I'm currently studying at uh, Zhejiang University's Zhejiang International Business School at the international uh, campus. And I'm taking the Global Communications and Management program. Awesome. So why did you decide to study at a Chinese university? Okay, so um, it, it was actually a, a quick decision because uh, as we know, like China is currently uh, becoming an economic giant in the world and their business, their economy is uh, very stable and their growth is uh, really fast, really quick. And uh, I don't know, maybe my father wanted me to uh, like learn some of their disciplines and learn some of their uh, Chinese techniques. And other than that, uh, the living circumstances there are really great too. So yeah, I think those are the main reasons. Mm -hmm. So why did you choose Zhejiang University? What about this campus and the program appealed to you? Um, okay, so Zhejiang University is one of the top five universities in China. So I think uh, logically uh, we, will, we will always want to pick the, like, the best universities. And other than that, uh, the, this program I chose actually involves like an internship program with and financial well they don't immediately offer us we have to like fight for it but there's a possibility for an internship there so i think that's uh that's the the thing that makes me interested in studying this program yeah that's a great opportunity and a fantastic company to intern at yeah so you're taking courses online or are you in china right now no, unfortunately, like uh, the international border uh, to enter China is still closed for Indonesia. Um, only, only like uh, my classmates from South Korea are able to go there because uh, I think uh, a while ago their uh, COVID cases were already low. The number of the cases were already low, so that uh, I think the China's government uh, considered them to be a much safer country, so that. Uh, they were the only ones who were able to go there. But other than that, I think uh, as far as I know, other countries are still not yet uh, permitted to go there, unfortunately. Yeah, hopefully that changes soon so you're able to go in person. Um, but how are the online courses? How's their quality and what are you learning right now? Um, I think the quality of the online courses is good. I mean, uh, the first few days, there were a bit uh, technical difficulties because, uh, yeah, we have just like uh, gotten used to this online classes for a year. So maybe when we start things again, it will be a rough start. But uh, after that few days, everything goes smoothly and the professors were able to teach us uh, very conveniently and we were able to uh, enjoy their lessons uh, really well. And uh, although my uh, program doesn't um, say much about business, actually I'm studying a lot of economics and then uh, also math and for the uh, communication part. We we learn uh, communication studies and intercultural communications. Oh, and other than that, uh, because we were studying in China, of course we're gonna get Chinese courses, right? So, uh, actually, this program uh, gives us an opportunity to take a placement test to test our like level in the Chinese language. And if you pass like uh, test one, you will all automatically jump to a certain level and you will, have, uh, you will get to skip the uh, lower level of Chinese. So yeah, other than like economics and communications and management, we also learn a lot of Chinese. So what Chinese level are you in? <laughs> oh, oh. 
I actually uh, I actually started taking Chinese tuition courses since I was five. So, oh, wow. I, yeah. And then uh, I kind of stopped for a while uh, uh, in my high school, senior high school period. But and then I thought about when I decided I wanted to go to China, I quickly uh, got back to studying it. And then I actually managed to get a certificate in HSK-5. And I'm currently studying H HSK-6. So when I did the placement test, I fortunately got into Intermediate Chinese 1. Okay. Well, yeah, congratulations. Yeah. The HSK-5, that is a huge achievement. Yeah. So what do you it's think hard. of the, the Chinese class quality? Is it is it quite good and is it advanced and going to push you further? Yeah, I really love the professor though. I think like the, uh, the main reason that could help us uh, like really want to improve ourselves in a particular uh, course is the professor. And fortunately I got this uh, wonderful professor that is really, really patient with us. So although we make uh, like all sorts of mistakes, he keeps uh, pushing us to keep trying and he never like, he never um, got mad at us for getting a wrong answer or else or something. And I think the, uh, his way of teaching is not only like the theory uh, of like the Chinese language or the grammar or the vocab, but he also teaches us uh, a little bit of history and culture so that every time we learn uh, a new vocab, uh, he always like uh, gives us some insight about uh, how did this word become this word? Like uh, what are the histories and actually the culture side of it? So yeah, I think, I think my favorite course actually is uh, this Chinese lessons. Yeah, that sounds like an truly amazing professor. Yeah, <laughs> he's great. So how about getting to know your classmates? Do you find that you're able to like make friends in the program even though you're all remote? Uh, I'm sorry, what was the last part? Even though you're all remote, are you still able to like talk with your classmates and get to know them even though you're online? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So uh, here's the thing, like um, I was, I was really scared that I wouldn't have uh, like any friends or like connections, uh, especially because I missed the first gathering. Like I didn't get the email, but uh, yeah, fortunately I, I got desperate and just uh, added everyone. And fortunately I got friends now. So yeah, I think uh, we've gotten really close also. So it's, it's not just like, oh, I know your name and you know my name and we're in the same course. No, but uh, I've actually like have several close friends now that I like talk to daily and I uh, talk about my daily life to them. And yeah, I uh, although it's just been like a couple of months, I think uh, I'm surrounded by really great people. Yeah, for the next four years, hopefully. Yeah, that is awesome. Good to hear. Yeah. So if I can ask a question about the future after these four years, what are your <laughs> what are your future plans and how do you think this program is going to help you reach them? So to be honest, I haven't really like, I don't have a clear uh, image of how my future after uh, this uni is going to be. But yeah, I'm just like, uh, just picking up from my experiences uh, from this university. And hopefully if I get um, like my high grades, then I could get a better future too. So. Well, I'm also joining um, organizations and volunteering acts. So I think uh, they'll help me like get a job. And especially I'm uh, striving for the and financial internship. So maybe mm. that's the closest future target I have to get that internship. Yeah, that will open a lot of doors for you. So our final question, do you have any suggestions or advice for students who are interested in studying 
in China or Zhejiang University in particular? Um, so I haven't really lived there yet because I haven't been able to go there. But I think uh, studying in China is probably the best decision I've ever made because uh, not only are there like cultures very interesting and very great to follow, but um, I've met people that are uh, that have like really interesting backgrounds and how their lives uh, circulate me. And I suggest you um, all of uh, the students that are thinking to go to China to maybe surround yourself not with uh, the people from your country, but also like uh, submerge yourself into uh, friendships with other people from other countries because um, especially for me because I'm in an international campus and that's a really great thing and really great opportunity because um, from that I get to know a lot of different like interesting cultures that my friends have like I have a friend from Brazil and I get to know like uh, that uh, Brazil actually has a great population of Asians and that they yeah and all their food and yeah so I think it's better for you to like submerge yourself into others and for Zhejiang University why not because it's one of the best universities yeah so I think if you uh, actually get uh, the opportunity to um, be enrolled in the main campus of the Zhejiang University then I salute you so much because uh, it's very hard. Yeah, because again, it's a top university and it'll always open a lot of chances for you if you got in there. Yeah. So yeah. That is great advice. Thank you so much for speaking with us, Bella. Thank you. Thank you too for this opportunity.